Sometimes it's the easiest things with an iPhone, and here are five relatively simple uh, features on the iPhone that we're going to take a look at today. The first is, and certainly one of my favorite iPhone tips for new users, is using search uh, with Spotlight. Sometimes it's called Spotlight Search. Um, to access Spotlight on older iPhones, you had to simply swipe down on the home screen from the top and the Spotlight search box would appear. It's even easier now because as you can see on my screen, down um, just above the four icons at the bottom, there's the search, uh, not really a box, but the search pill, I think is what they call, and it's right there. And you can use Spotlight to quickly find apps, files, photos, or websites without digging through your phone. Um, I use this all the time to find apps whose location I haven't memorized. I'm just going to put something in search. And when I touch search, it opens up to some previous searches I've made. And last night I was looking for a Delta Airlines flight, checking the time and so on a little bit before Apple Maps. And so it works very well. The search spotlight, spotlight search is right there for you to use. If you need to find out where an app is on your phone or, um, or anything else, it's very useful. Um, number two, no need to close apps. We used to tell people that on the iPhone it was really important to close apps. And um, you can see I'm in my app switcher right now. We used to go ahead and, and swipe through and close them like that. Um, Lots of iPhone users do this, and they assume that having a bunch of apps open will deplete their battery life, but that's, that's not true anymore. You can keep as many apps open as you'd like. I'm, I'm, I closed those, but you can keep as many open. Before I cleaned up my phone a little bit before, um, I had probably 15 or 20 apps open. Um, and, and you can keep them open because your iPhone is designed to sleep apps or put apps to sleep when you haven't interacted with them for a while. So closing open apps actually makes them slower to load in the future. So forget the old advice about closing the apps on your iPhone. Just leave the apps in the background and they will be fine. The next one, number three, is the share button does more than share. And let's take a look. I will go into photos just for a minute. Um, here's an old photo. And we have the little share button down in the lower left-hand corner. It's the little uh, square with the upward-facing um, arrow. And it's used primarily for sharing things with others, like, like images or photos like this. If I touch that, it will give me lots of different opportunities. I can send it directly to some people. I can mail it. I can send it as a message. I can send it to Twitter, and then you've got all the social media. But look at all the other things as I scroll up. You can copy the photo here. You can add to shared album. Uh, just a whole variety of things that you can use. So the shared button is used for much more than just uh, sharing things with others like images or links or videos. It contains settings for um, web pages, information and in various apps, actions to open a link in a different app and more. And that's what you're seeing here with these examples. Okay, that's number three. Let's take a look at number four. This is a really simple one too. Charge your battery faster in airplane mode. Um, and to do that, simply we're going to go to the control center, which as you remember, is just a swipe down from the upper right hand corner. And uh, this gives you the control center with a lot of your systems in one place. Up in the top uh, left hand corner, you see the little airplane symbol. I'm not gonna touch that because I don't wanna turn my phone off right now. But if you touch that, that will shut, um, that will turn off many features of the phone, including cellular and Wi Fi networking. So there's far less for the battery to do and it charges faster. 
So that's, that's a good hint. Just remember to turn your airplane mode off when you're done charging. Okay, one more, number five. Um, let's take a look at um, something called a long press. And, and a lot of people don't know anything about this. You can long press everything. Um, images, app icons, words, icons in the control center and more. I'm going to go back into photos. Actually, let's just, I'm going to long press on the messages app down here at the bottom, the third from the left at the bottom, and I'm going to give it a hard press, and that opens a menu with a number of different things that you can do simply right from that long press. I'm going to go back into the control center for a minute and, and do a long press on the notes, and let's see what that does. That brings up, um, again, another drop-down menu that allows you to do several things right there. So give that a try. You can, you can long press, um, as I said, images and links and app icons and other things. Um, and it, it's, it's like giving you another opportunity, giving you a bigger opportunity to, um, to find more information. Okay, that's it. Those are five quick things, a long press, uh, charge your battery faster in airplane mode. The share button is more than just share, um, simply photos or, or links. Um, you don't have to close the, all your apps on your phone anymore. And uh, going back to the home screen, don't forget that little search um, bar down near the bottom. That's really helpful, really useful. Okay, that's it. This has been Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures.